Good evening, YouTube fans, and welcome to the Beauville Newtown vlog number 22 for 2019. I'm Ray. How you doing? Uh, <laughs> this one here is a little bit backwards. You're going to see me again, and I'm still going to be this one, but that's okay. Um, I started doing some vlogging uh, earlier this week uh, since it was Christmas week. And again, Merry Christmas, everybody. Belated. I know it's now the 28th of December, but hey, better late than never. I did mention that in the last vlog, so hmm. anyway, um, this is good. I'm going to apologize right now, folks. This is going to be a long video um, because of the fact that I was off this week. I've been doing a lot of a lot of work down here, and in fact, I spent about five hours down here Christmas Day. Um, you know just doing some stuff and you know what I'm just gonna let the tail of the tape talk so we'll be right back well I decided I was going to go ahead and give you a quick tour of where I stand at this point um, as you know that this is the last vlog for 2019 um, so where we're at or where I'm at is uh, I had to take up the front pieces here because I noticed that the with no bracing up underneath these boards were starting to sag so if you notice there's boards laid across here they've already been marked I just have to cut them I wasn't going to do that on Christmas now I talked about in my Facebook page about a mystery piece of metal well this is that mystery piece of metal this is an old rack rail that I got from work they were throwing it out because the racks are no longer used so I grabbed it and I've already marked where I need to cut it I'm gonna cut it here at 25 inches and over here at 25 inches and uh, what I'm gonna do from there because these boards these boards that are back here were originally supposed to be holding up the backdrop well these boards are 30 inches and I'm going to be cutting these down because I've also, underneath here, is saved the ones that I'm going to use to hold up the backdrop. So this is 25 and this piece of metal is 25 inches. Well, to go ahead and make up the difference, I've got a couple pieces of lumber over here that are just perfect to add to the top of that piece of metal to make it 30 inches and those pieces will end up on this area because I cannot put a 2x4 over here because it's too wide and if you notice well let's go ahead and start the new Beauville and new, Newtown here there's my old three-way switch I need to uh, take down the uh, <clears throat> uh, spackling compound that I used to build up everything here so eventually I'll do that but I haven't gotten there yet so the tracks are just kind of laid out so I could figure out how things were going to sit so we're coming around Newtown now this track that's going off by itself that's actually the yard lead and it's going to go around the backside of the turntable and then where that switch is believe it or not will be underneath of Beauville underneath the city itself that is where the trains will actually get be made up <laughs> it's a little bit it's going to be a little bit interesting to build up a train underneath of a city but that's when you take a look at what i've got here you'll understand why um, i've got a couple other tracks here those will be used for storage as well these are actually on the outside or of the being underneath the city so the yard tracks are all here and I've got a couple of them that face in the opposite direction. I'm not sure what I'm going to use those two for, if they're going to stay, if they're not. And if you also notice, there's a huge gap here. Well, that's because this piece of wood was put down just so I could figure out what I needed in the way of track. <clears throat> and I'm going to get to that in a minute, too, because I ended up with a slight issue. <clears throat> well, besides the yard not being as big as I wanted it to be, but that's okay. I think I can deal with what I've got here. <clears throat> um, I've also put a piece of wood off to the side to be able to cut for filling the hole in for the old roundhouse. Now this area gets a little ticklish. Um, originally I had set everything up to where it was two inches from the edge 
the first track, the edge of the track was two inches from the edge. The second track was two and a quarter from that. So it ended up being the inside rail or this rail here ended up being four and a quarter inches from the edge. Well, if you can see my green line here, these are not where they belong because to be able to get this in, I had to go a little bit wider than what I wanted. Not a big deal because of the fact that I'm going to have something on the edge, along the edge to go ahead and keep from hitting trains as they're going around. Not a big thing. Now, what this is, is these two switches are going to be the in and out from underneath the city. Because I'm still going to have Union Station is going to sit someplace over here. I have no idea where yet, but it's going to sit someplace over here. Um, the problem is, because I want four tracks underneath of the city, two north, two south, here we go with the north and south again, you know, having storage, that's what it is. There will be two, there will be four passenger tracks, two for, two for north, two for south. One will be basically a through, the other one will be a storage. That will be underneath the city. Well, I figured it out last night. I need two left hand and two right hand curve switches to be able to make this work because otherwise, the trying to put a normal switch in it was too tight. You know, putting in a number four, number six, whatever was just not going to work, and that's all I've got are snap and number six. So anything else like that, that it just wasn't going to work, and I figured well. To go ahead and get the distance that I want, I'll put in a curve switch. So I need to get a couple of curve switches and I need to get another 19 degree crossing. Because I need that. And by the way, these two lines here are basically, I don't want to call them the freight line because they're not, they're through, they're, this is the through line. So you have the north and south through line here. But on this side, if you notice, there's no crossing. <laughs> I've got it kind of mocked up as to where it's going to sit, but it, it's not there. Um, so, and then you'll continue on down towards what will be Richmond. Um, so, you know, this, this is what I've worked on. I basically did this on Christmas. I worked on a lot of this during Christmas Day. Uh, well, afternoon, not day itself, but during the afternoon and evening. Um, and I've got to go ahead and I've actually got to cut the piece of wood that's underneath <clears throat> to finish out that side um, that where that big gap is um, and then I've got uh, some other work to do over here uh, but it is what it is like I said I've still got to take up that uh, spackling compound so I'll get that done um, and then I've still got some other boards I've got to cut yet, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm laying track when I can and cutting boards when I can because obviously I don't want to be doing that at night. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to work on this section here, which is where the two hidden yards will be. I'm actually going to start working on laying some track back here and we'll see what this looks like. And then it'll be getting rid of... <laughs> this pile of this pile of track over here um, I've got to I've got to desolder some stuff um, because I've got wire on a lot of this track so I'm gonna go ahead and desolder a lot of that so I can actually use it and I'm gonna figure out exactly how much flex track I'm gonna need but that's where we stand well I'm sure that the lighting stinks here but that's beside the point um, I know some folks um, that may have been watching or may not have watched before uh, know that with my old 13 foot by 11 foot layout I had what I called the swing bridge. Um, that shut power down to the layout completely um, so the trains didn't fall off the edge of the earth. Um, if you go back through the uh, vlogs from uh, the first couple that I put up, uh, 2015, 2016, 2017, even 2018 in the beginning of this year, uh, you'll see the old 13 foot by 11 foot layout. Obviously this one here is 36 feet by 8 feet and there's no need for a swing bridge. However, there was need for a drop down section which happens to be in the down position at the moment because as you can see, I started putting up one of the braces for the backdrop. 
Of course, now some people would be wondering too, why are you worried about putting up a backdrop? Or putting up posts for the backdrop? Well, because before I get to the point of actually laying the track down, I have to make sure that the boards and the foam and all are going to fit against the bracing. So I have to put the bracing in first. So that was the reason for putting in this post. I went ahead and I cut out the hole, as you can see here, because this section obviously it has to move. The reason why it has to move is because of what's over here. This is a decommissioned oil tank. Uh, this house has oil heat. The tank is now out back. This is no longer in use and it's just sitting in here. Um, I'm sure at some point I may be wanting to get that out of here. If that happens, obviously with the way that the bench work sits here, that would not be a possibility if I made this thing solid. That means the whole thing would have to move and that's not going to happen. So, we've created a drop down section, which is what this is. And on the back side here, and I mentioned it in the earlier vlogs, there is a switch. So that when this thing is in a down position as it sits right now, power at least to the track. I didn't, dig it, didn't do it to where it'll shut everything off because of the way I divided the circuitry up on this thing. It only shuts power off to the track, so there's no possibility of a train falling off into the ditch that actually exists behind here. This actually has a six inch overhang onto the permanent part of the layout. There was a reason for that and it worked out rather well when I went ahead and folded this thing down a little bit ago. I had forgotten that I had put screws across there. Well, needless to say, it wasn't going to fold until I pulled the screws out. So it worked out perfectly. So I could, the other reason for the screws is to make sure that this section stays in alignment with the rest of the layout. So, we're going to, for the first time since I've put the post up, see if this thing will fold up without causing any issues. And somewhere I'm stuck. Oh, I know why. I know, I can see it. It's because the bracing here, I, uh, instead of pulling the screws all the way out, I just kind of left them in and now it's causing a problem. All right, note to self, don't do that anymore. They have to come all the way, well, once through to this point, I can go ahead and just back them out to the point where they'll be against the other bracing and it shouldn't cause us a problem. All right, now. There we go. So now it's in its upright position. And I can put the screws back in place. And we should be good to go. And it looks like it went right back where it came from, which is exactly what it was supposed to do. Chalk went up for me. Yay, it's a win. All right, well, let me get back to work here and we'll be back in a bit. All right, back again with something slightly unique. Um, I actually saw something and I think it was on Facebook a while back and it was something that very, really intrigued me and I'd never seen it done before. And what it was, uh, was guys cutting tile to go around a doorway. Well, obviously I don't have a doorway to go around and I'm only laying plywood, but if you look, let me see if I can get this done without causing too much hate and discontentment here. Okay, all right, I think we're good. If you take a look at this board back here, you can see that it's been cut around. 
So what I did is I kind of followed that same rule that the guys that were laying tile did. And I'm gonna show you exactly kind of what I'm talking about here with this piece of wood over here. Now, I've already marked one side. So what I've done is I've taken my square and I've squared it up on this two by four and I'm gonna take my pencil, oops. I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna draw that way. So now I've marked either side of the board. Now what I'm gonna do once I move some things out of the way here, I've had the I've had the drop seeds this afternoon. I keep throwing things on the floor, so I'm trying to move as much stuff out of my way before I go ahead and knock it on the floor as I possibly can. It's always wonderful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two by four my plywood here and I'm going to lay it up against here. I'm going to pull out my square again, but this time I'm going to, <laughs> well, make a mark, but the problem is <laughs> that it doesn't go far enough. <laughs> well, that didn't go according to plan. And I kind of get the feeling that no matter which direction I go in, I'm still going to have the same issue. Uh, let me move some things around here before I go throwing things on the floor again. Part of my head. I'm going to see if I can't lay this board up. No, I can't lay it over on this side because of the, because of the uh, other two by. But what I can do, now that I've got kind of a layout line there, swing your partner around and around. Since I can't lay it really up against that, what I can do is like this. And I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I've actually got a four foot metal straight edge here. And I just followed the original line. And now, down here, what I have is, and I'm not sure if you can see it or not, I've actually got the two by four laid out here and I can take a saw, which I'm going to take, that's a Dremel saw, and I'm actually going to plunge cut. That's my drill. Oh, I don't even need that in a minute. All right. I'm going to get a little noisy.
woods and cutting it, but hey, I think it's starting to wear that little saw blade out a little bit. Now, the moment of the truth. Just like that. Bingo. You gotta love it. So that's that's a neat trick. I, I really like that because otherwise you're sitting there with a tape measure taking measurements and trying to figure out exactly how that's going to work in there. This way you make a couple marks, you cut it, you're done. So that being said, time for me to go ahead and get back to work. Be back in a bit. You know, I just had to think. I wasn't showing something else that I'm doing here. Um, for holding up the backdrop, or the boards are going to hold up the backdrop, the first thing I'm doing is I'm actually quick gripping, um, quick ripping it to the corner down here. And I take my square and square it up. That looks pretty good. I'll take my drill. Drill the first hole and put the bolt in. This one here wants to be a pain. Now obviously you don't want to tighten it up too much yet because it's going to have to, we want to make sure that it gets level here again. Of course, I did that and I forgot I gotta move my quick grip to the opposite side so I can actually cut the other hole. Huh. It held. Countersunk because originally this was on that 13 foot by 11 foot layout when it was in my mother in law's basement and it was up against the wall, so you couldn't obviously have the bolt heads sticking out because this would have been against the wall and it wouldn't have worked. So, and I've noticed that a couple of them. The uh, the countersink was a little bit, uh, a little bit deep, and the threads were on the side here. The washers weren't a bit. The, these are short thread, so the it was hitting the end of the threads before it was getting to the washers. So we'll just double check, make sure we're square. Of course, the guy that's putting this together is extremely square. We're good to go. Trying to find some place to put this where it's not going to get in the way. Okay. All right, so that's that for right now. So we'll be back in a bit when I get to my next interesting thing. This is going to be a long video tonight. Okay, so from behind the lens now, I've got the backdrop bracing up. Yeah, I know those are two, those are, those two there are rather close. There's a reason. Um, and that reason is the fact that that's where that folding section is, that one that's sticking up, that's actually on the edge that would be holding up the rest of this. So, um, 
that's the reason why that's there. I, I haven't decided how I'm going to fix to really do that yet, but uh, I'll worry about that folding section later anyway. Uh, got some more of the backdrop bracing up. And there's a mystery metal that I was talking about. Like I said, those are old rack rail, or that's old rack rail. I cut it into three pieces. And I've got a four foot uh, spacing between each one. Now, this is the last one. I have not put any type of backdrop over here or backdrop bracing over here for Beauville yet because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to work Beauville yet as far as how the city and all is going to work out. So there was no point in continuing on with that. And as it is on Sunday, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the camera around. All right, folks, as it is, uh, what I was getting ready to say before I decided to stop was tomorrow is Sunday. Um, it's actually the 29th of December. Um, my brother and his family are coming down. He's going to give me a hand with a couple of things tomorrow. Uh, I'm not going to worry about vlogging that. Um, I'll wait until after the first of the year. Um, I know that I had mentioned um, about... Uh, possibly some stuff coming up in the new year. I'm actually thinking about trying to do a live show. Um, it'll probably be once a month. Uh, it'll more than likely be on a Sunday evening. Uh, it'll aptly be named Sidetracked Sunday. You know, because, well, that seems to happen a lot to me. I get sidetracked. So, um, that's possibly coming. Stay tuned for that. Um, Funny thing is, is uh, I also, in uh, in the midst of some of the stuff that I've been working on and, and some of the things I've seen, um, there's a few new folks. Um, I'm not going to mention names at the moment because I don't know if they've actually subscribed to the channel or subscribed to me on Facebook yet, so we'll wait. Um, actually, there was a neat little thing going around, and of course I didn't do it for my Facebook because, to be honest, I know who's there. Um, and there aren't that many of us. <laughs> so uh, what it was is for some of the bigger groups, they did a, uh, a who's who because a lot of these folks uh, have had their Facebook profiles for a while for their railroad stuff. And, you know, friends of friends of friends started hopping on board. And the one fellow was like, I don't know who half you people are. So um, it was just funny that I met a couple of folks that are fairly close by to me. Uh, one old fellow lives literally almost right down the street. Um, so um, I'm hoping we'll be able to catch up and do a meet and greet or whatever, and uh, we'll go from there. He's not, I don't think he's on YouTube, but he's definitely on Facebook. But at any rate, uh, we're going to stop it here because of the fact it's coming. Happy New Year, folks. Be safe. God bless. You all know the deal. Wait for the highball green tracks ahead, and we'll catch you all next time. See ya. Oh, come on, stop.